Well, despite tonight's rainy weather, tailgates are still being planned around Siouxland as high school football games are getting ready to kick off. And that's where Tim Seaman is tonight. That's our very own, but this isn't your everyday pregame event. Good evening, Tim. What's going on? Jason, you're absolutely right. A couple hundred folks here tonight joining me and uh, several folks. A great night ahead as we tailgate, just a little bit of different type of tailgate as we tailgate to help kids and families here across Siouxland. There is no football here tonight, but by the end of the night, we still plan to have a pretty big celebration. So we have an auction tonight, a big dinner, and plenty of things going on to raise money to help kids and families as well as we look to help those folks all across Siouxland, thanks to the folks at Boys and Girls Home and Family Services here in Sioux City. Take a look at these numbers. It's a pretty self-explanatory story. According to the Department of Human Services, Woodbury County had more than 1,600 reports of child abuse in 2018. Also in 2021, one in four Iowa 11th graders said that they'd considered suicide that year. That's just two years ago. And 60% of the workforce today says it is functionally depressed. Just a few numbers that put a face on what we're doing here tonight, helping kids and families. Art, when you see those numbers, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Well, they continue to grow, and we got a new one they're looking at now, and that's violence on how our kids are affected by violence. Uh, you know, the old saying, it takes a village, Tim, and we got a village here tonight, and with all the support we have here tonight, we're on top of our kids, and uh, we're going to keep pushing forward and get kids that thrive. We want kids that thrive. Great stories to tell, thanks to the folks at Boys and Girls Home and Family Services, and the commitment from people in the room tonight helps that. Absolutely. They've been with us a long time. Tim, been with you a long time. True. So thanks an awful lot, and it's for a great, great cause. Art Silva is the CEO of Boys and Girls Home and Family Services. We look forward to spending some time here tonight. And uh, in the meantime, folks probably headed out to a tailgate of their own yet, maybe a bit soggy. We won't be wet tonight, that's no, for sure. <laughs> That's the story here, Jason. We'll share the good news later. Live in South Sioux City, Tim Seaman, KCAU 9 News.